Hey, hey, how's it going? We're back here, Donovan and... Hey, it's little me. No, it's little, it's little me man. Or Cheeto. Cheeto. Uh, cool. We were just talking about, I think, uh, like videos. I mean, like, you know, always being comfortable with videos, which obviously, you know, yeah. uh, you were. I forget what else we were talking about, though. Yeah, we got a... Kind of went off track a lot with uh, Mr. Yeah. Yaddle. Mr. Dark Yaddle and Dark uh, Yaddle. George Lucas. Um, no, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, I always, you know, was like, I mean, would anybody just be like, do you, you know, would you like to do this? But I mean, I never really did super demanding. I think it was always more character based, yeah. you know, more like. How do you feel about wearing a wig, more or less? Yeah, yeah. Oh, bring it, bring it back. Yeah, there we go. Right there. So. Yeah, like a wig or, you yeah. know. Um, well, I was going to ask. Uh, I guess of the newer videos. Well, no, actually, you know what? Cause you're in a, well, so I was going to say, what happened was in, I think in like 2012 with Donovan TPS, I really began, I really knew how to edit and shoot very quickly of these small videos. And that's why there are like so many of them, you know? Um, and speaking of so many of them, we go up next to one of the great series, The Prince versus Cena. The best of them all. Yeah. Um... This was kind of a amalgamation, you know, yeah. of, um, you know, like, it was different series within the series. Um, there's, like, cell phone video, there's videos, videos mostly shot on cell phones. Um, but I guess how did you feel about this concept, this series, before, uh, like, even, before you were even a part of it, you know? It was, yeah, it was, like, a really cool idea. I think, like, this, at this point, I think Let's I was in, uh... Yeah, there you go, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you got uh, I was like maybe in like maybe ninth or tenth grade maybe maybe yeah. I think I was in tenth grade probably yeah um so I thought it was like really cool at that I, I think it was like the uh, actually no it was the summer to tenth grade yeah yeah it was the summer to tenth grade yeah because I came back from the so I started the for those who don't know I started the Prince versus Cena uh, in the Coast Guard you know because uh, like oftentimes while I was in the Coast Guard. Um, you know, we, we talk about stuff and like little fun facts and, you yeah. know, discussion. And I was like, oh, I called out John Cena on the news years ago. It was like a joke yeah. on New York one. And you, you, I know you've seen the clip, yeah. I believe. Um, so, you know, it was like, you know, it was just a little joke. Like yeah, I called him out as like a joke to see if he would respond. He didn't, he didn't respond. Yeah. Um, but then like, you know, a lot of, a lot of people in the coast guard were like, Oh, when are you going to fight John Cena? Cause that's, it became like a popular topic, you know? Yeah. Um, you need to put the, okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, it became like a popular topic. So I had the idea because I was like pretty depressed in the Coast Guard, as you know. Um, yeah. so like, but I had an idea. I was like, oh, what if I, what if I did a series where I called out John Cena? I said I would call out John Cena for a year in like a YouTube series. Um, you know, cause I think that would make me feel better. Cause then I'd be creating content. Cause I wasn't really, you know, during the Coast Guard time, it was kind of like, it was hard to create content, you know? Yeah. Um. So, the, oh, this would be fun, like a vlog. It'd be like a vlog series, kind of like with my cell phone, and I would, you know, uh, shoot stuff like that. So, when I received the honorable discharge, I was I was still like five months into a series, six months into a series. I don't um, know about that. Yeah. And so I said, well, I'm still going to continue. I said I would do it for a year, and I would. Um. So how that I guess how that feel when I brought you into it. Uh, I was, yeah, it was, I was definitely like happy. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was like, I think it's good. Cause like I, I, most of like my lines, I, I pretty much improvised a lot yeah. of them. I pretty much like, cause like most of it, cause in the beginning, I think it was, I forgot if I'm pretty sure I was still recording, but like, mm -hmm. it was kind of like the camera guy was still, it wasn't like the first time when like sometimes most of, most of the videos, like if we had, like if Donovan was like in one scene it was like there was no like person in the back pretty much the camera guy was always silent and it was yeah. like the first time where like me and him both we can both film and also be in front of the camera at the same time yeah and have our own line so it was kind of like some, it was like one of those things where it was like a cool concept because i was like you know now i can just kind of be like i can improvise my my humor into these videos on top of like what we already are doing like because mm -hmm. some of the stuff we did was kind of like out out there pretty much i'm pretty sure we were like in times square making videos pretty much yeah like so what was fun about like i really love about the prince versus cena series is, is like i said besides being an amalgamation or however you say the word uh, yeah. uh well i don't know what word it is um but like it's it, it pulls from 
all the videos of past yesteryear, you know? Yeah. Like, there's music videos, like how we used to do. There's videos that are like films in the, the, in the finale. There's very, like, improv videos where it's like, you know, like the Cheeto Rage series. Was, yeah. I love that series, you know? And there's a lot, um, which is 126 videos of us. Yeah. Uh, but not you know what I even like about the series is that not every video is focused on Cena. Yeah. You know, like... It was like some of the randomest things. I'm pretty sure like one video when we were on the D train, it was like it was like about a quarter. Like I found a quarter on the floor and then we were like you know, I think you just popped out your phone and you're like, Let's make a video about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. You know? Like so even like like 'cause you know, and then even and then you know how like sci fi the series yeah. got where it's like So for those who don't know, I guess I'll explain <laughs> real quick. The Prince versus Cena it starts with like me calling out John Cena, like like you know, like in, in vlogs and videos, and yeah. it's like it's a comedic series, um, you know, very guerrilla style. That you know, I I actually wanted, I would like, I I love to do a match with Cena, you know, yeah. that'd be that's one of my goals, or a feud in WWE or in a movie. I think I think we would have tremendous chemistry, you know, I think it'd yeah. be great and funny. Um, so the the concept of the series at first it, it turned out like it was just a regular prince character as you know my yeah wrestling character pinky's up yeah you know he's up ladies mini, and gentlemen mini Pr- prince junior i think you were, yeah. you were called prince junior at some yeah. time not to be confused with mini prince of tcw who was yeah. another short stocky kid yeah who you know um but so you know uh so it was the prince character like what if what like la- life after the tcw you know life yeah. after uh, what if he was traveling the world and calling out John Cena? Um, but then I added a sci-fi twist. Do you remember? Do you remember the Rage Prince? His origin? Uh, I don't. I just wasn't he like from like a different universe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. Like a different. He was like some type of uh, like he was like from a different universe where like then like you fight John Cena or something like that, or something something like along those lines, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So it was. It was like. So I added the sci-fi twist because I I I so I'd copyrighted my sci-fi stuff. Um, and then I realized, oh, I could introduce some of my sci-fi elements because I wasn't really comfortable introducing like stuff I written before, yeah. really. Except it was unless it was original, like the the Pink Dog or Lost Mask or yeah. the Search uh, or Pink Dime, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um. So this, so yeah, basically, he comes in the Rage Prince. I make a deal with the Man in White, and yeah. then I receive this Dragon Ball Z Scouter, <laughs> yeah. Um, which is the only the prop that I could find that looked cool. Yeah. Um. <laughs> And then basically now it unleashes the Rage Prince, which is like a personality from a different universe who's destroyed universe after universe. So in order to have full control and full power, he has to latch on. He has to latch on to somebody, and that person has to complete a goal of theirs. Mm. So he latches on to the prince because the prince wants to face John Cena. Yeah. And so it affects him. So that's why you have the, some prince videos. Yeah. And some Rage Prince. Um. But yeah, and then and then we just basically went from there. There's like I said, there's yeah. Um, how I mean, so how'd that feel? Because in in your series, Cheeto Rage, it is yeah. very much about you. Is there a plane flying? Uh, <laughs> that's someone cutting that grass. Oh, I don't think we could hear. Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, so basically, yeah. So there was a lot of freedom with the with the lines and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because I was pretty much like. Because what's funny about Cheeto Rage is that I would just appear and you yeah. just film and then you just have some yeah. silly commentary. Do you yeah. remember any favorite episodes of that? I'm pretty sure the time it was, I forgot when it was, but I remember we were in BJ's by uh, Sheeps of Bay. Pretty, okay. I'm pretty sure. And yeah. like you were, I was just like randomly, I, like I, obviously we were doing a video, but you just came out, I think you came out of the aisle, but we were in the cards aisle. Yeah. The aisle that had, and I'm pretty. I remember, like, I think you threw like a, I don't know, like a, what kind of, I forgot, like a just gigantic, bring it closer to your mouth again. like a yeah. gigantic, like stuffed animal at me, and yeah. I just remember picking up like a Mary Monroe card or something like that, <laughs> and then you were, and she was like half naked, and you were like, yeah. ooh, 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 yeah, 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 and then, uh, I, that was a good video. It was, I remember a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember like the one on the D by the D train. Yeah, that was a fun one. Um. I think the one on, the one on Governor's Island. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, there were a bunch of fun ones. Yeah. The music videos, like you said. Yeah. Um, the one the one in the Coney Island Beach. Oh, that was when great. you said you swam from like well, like New Zealand New or Zealand. something. Yeah, like yeah. It. I just watched that one. Yeah. As well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was like definitely a lot of you know content and and some people like 
told me, oh, like, there's there's too many videos. I'm like, yeah, who cares? But, I don't care. You yeah. know? Um, they weren't long videos, though. They were, like, what, like, at most, like, five minutes, probably? Uh, yeah, I think they were a lot of short. Um, and then the finale series was a lot more yeah. film. Uh, some of the videos I thought could have been a little better quality because I, I was even watching. Yeah. And not even in terms of, like, acting or anything like that. Uh, but just, like, I didn't have the right tripod set up, like, for 8-Man. Yeah. Um, or there was, like, you know, there's, like, one of those things, like, when you're shooting the gun at me, yeah. uh, the Rage Prince, I could have, like, see if I could edit it in, like, like little yeah. bullet effects. Um, but, oh, excuse me. Um, but, you know, you learn. I mean, how'd you... How do you feel about the finale series? Have you? Watched? I thought it was. I thought it was. I actually watched it a couple times when it first came out. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was great personally. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a lot of fun even filming it. I remember that day, I, if I'm not mistaken, we were, you were using like your Riddler stick. Oh yeah, and yeah. And I yeah. had the sword, and I remember we were like in the middle of fighting. Yeah. I when I hit the Riddler stick, the thing just snapped in half. Yeah, yeah. And we both kind of looked at the, we yeah. kind of looked at the camera. But I was too busy laughing to continue on, and yeah. we were too deep because at that point it was broke. Yeah. So we couldn't do another take. So after laughing, we just, to, yeah. we just had to keep going pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> just keep bringing. Sorry, just so, keep bringing back. Yeah, yeah I know. Right it's, I know it's a little too close. Is yeah. it too close? Is it too close? No, I think that's good. Yeah. Uh, we, just, we have to always make sure with audio. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember that it broke, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, God damn it. <laughs> well, there's actually a funny story about the uh, the finale. So in the in the series. You know, when I, because I rewatched it, I'm building up towards, like, there's, like, a mysterious Sass Bless You 101. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, I think so. Yeah, so there's, like, somebody on the phone. Patricia's on the phone with somebody. Yeah. Um, Because the build-up, this was supposed to be, you know, how, like, there's, like, Pink Dog is there, Mikey the Rat. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of, like, kind of, like, a, almost like a finale in a, in a way. Yeah. For the series. Um, so I was building up towards uh, Cody. Yeah. God Bless You 101. Um, and the finale... So it would have been like, you know, Patricia would have been defeated, you would have been defeated, yeah. and then Cody would have been the one to defeat. Uh, but you know, things things didn't work out. Yeah. Um, so still glad to have you in the finale, but like, I wonder, yeah. how do you think that would have played out? If I would have, uh, if been it would have been, if it would have been him in the finale. Cody instead of yeah. Um. Well, per, if you like, if you ever when you do watch it back, I'm, my character is actually defeated in my house. Because, yeah. like, when I was shooting you with my uh, my BB gun, mm-hmm. and well, at the time it wasn't the BB gun, but when we were sh- when I was doing that, and, um, yeah. like, I pretty much died at that point. No, you didn't die. Well, pretty, well. <laughs> you gave up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much, like, essentially my defeat. Yeah. In a way. So, at that point, like, if, like, if Cody would have done it, that's pretty much where it probably could have ended, more or less. Because, like, I would have been, like, too weak and not yeah. being able to. But, like, I forgot what happened. Like, didn't, like, John Cena, like, give me, like, a pep talk? Yeah, well, so like, I... Before I <laughs> yeah. And then I was just like, yeah, I think I can do this. <laughs> well, he didn't... So, the thing is, so then I came with the John Cena shirt. Yeah. Um, And you don't you don't see my face. Yeah, no, you and, see the hands. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's it, yeah. it was just me in a yeah. John, John Cena shirt. Because <laughs> I work out, but I'm, I'm yeah. still not as big as him. Yeah, his um, forearms are, like, yeah. shoveling pretty I'm like, pretty Jesus Christ, yeah. what do I need to... Um, so yeah, so well, there wasn't even like a pep talk because I I, yeah. I couldn't do a good impersonation of him. Yeah. So it's just like Cena comes, uh, and then you're like, hey, listen, I got this. Yeah. You don't need to say anything. I think I told you just to tell him like you don't yeah, need to say you anything. Don't need to say nothing. I think he even referenced like you're looking a little skinny. I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, I'll keep yeah, it in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that would um. So yeah, just John Cena was like, so John Cena finally comes in the finale. Yeah. And then instantly gets turned down by yeah, some yeah, guy. But, well mind you like it's funny about this is like the world is a wreck yeah like we just hear like this pink dog creatures running around we don't we don't see yeah. the pink, or the Times square is chocolate i yeah. didn't have the i didn't i didn't have the effects yeah um or else i probably would have like done like wide shots of like yeah new york and like chaos new york and like <laughs> chocolate yeah well uh, what's it called that would have been yeah that would, i mean I, i'm happy how the finale turned out you know what yeah. i mean like like it's cool to have you, because also, like, you've still been there since the beginning. Yeah. Like, even if it was Patricia, like, she's still been there since the beginning. So, I think it yeah. would have been uh, either or would have been great, you know? Yeah. Like, I like the kind of both story arcs. There's two story arcs, um, you know, which was really fun. Yeah. Um, so, that was a lot of fun. I'm trying to think if we missed any particular videos you want to talk about before. Um... 
like anything any i'm trying to think before we jump into you know you were in the magic water ad yeah, you know you had uh, a everybody when Aunt Teresa and grandma my mom did that and a couple other people right yeah the the sass stuff yeah you did you now a lot broadcasting yeah, with you me. now was fun i remember that one time when we were on you now i think it was like in the close to the afternoon yeah. around there and like those two random girls were saying like i was like well i think at most i was i this is when i was living up here so i had to at least be like 10 to 12 yeah and like that one girl like who's probably like in her mid-30s was saying how she wanted to marry me and stuff oh like yeah that. and then another girl was like talking to you like saying i want to marry him too and it yeah. was kind of like kind of weird i was more we were more confused than anything i think <laughs> i was like a i was like a 10 year old being asked to get married by like some females like in her 30s yeah, yeah i yeah. don't think they were serious but it was kind of awkward because they were very persistent on everything they said oh yeah i remember that yeah I, yeah I, I definitely think uh it was like one of those yeah like oh we're just messing around and joke you yeah. know or who knows maybe they're waiting yeah they're, they're like, yeah they're still waiting holy shit they're outside oh my god whoa <laughs> no that was i mean that was that was funny i like the um you appeared on Wars Man Reviews twice uh, as well. We did a little Shop of Horrors review, and then yeah. we did a wrap uh, at the end of the year. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think of any relevant uh, videos. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the I Am John Cena was a fun video yeah. to appear where... Actually, uh, a fun fact about... So that's like that's like after Prince vs. Cena. Yeah, I'm around just that like, time. Um, and this is like after the fallout, like, cause I was very inspired by like Marvel as well, or yeah. like it's all connected. Yeah. Um, so with, like the, the, I am John Cena is actually also like, do you remember the ending of that? Um, no, not really. Sadly. No. Cause, uh, in the ending, so you were like cameraman. I think the footage could have been better. I think I used the wrong lens, you know, mm. like at the time. Yeah. Like it's still a fun video, but I, I realized like it looks very like grainy and i realized oh, okay. i needed to use more of the, it was i had a, a photography lens on a canon add and i should have used more of the the film lens which i have now yeah um but no at the end so at the end i leave i'm doing the john cena thing i take out like a, the your toy gun yeah uh, i put on the sombrero or the the western hat the cowboy hat yeah uh and i leave and then you as i leave the door closes and you do the camera to the coast guard photo yeah you know? Oh yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. No, I do remember that. Yeah, that was a cool ending because it was like the the whole Prince versus Cena storyline and the Rage Prince is kind of a message for like PTSD. Yeah, you know, like um, like you know, people in the military and and people deal with that. Yeah, of like, and then you develop like you know depression and other issues. Yeah. So that's what the Rage Prince was essentially was kind of like on the way to unleash yeah. rages and rants, and that and that's a really I think that's a really underrated ending of like a video or film of mine where it's like yeah. just like oh wait a second the the rage prince still happened the prince versus cena still happened and the aliens and the yeah you know uh but it's like well originally started because he was like depressed you know yeah so I love that that and I don't even remember if I told you to do that or you just did it on your own I just uh, like it yeah you know? I don't really, I think I think the first time we did it. I was like, afterwards, I was like, how about we look at, after you leave, how about we look at your photo? Because, like, the oh, photo yeah, yeah, just yeah. happens to be planted right, right next there, to the yeah. door. Yeah. So, it just kind of, like, worked out because it was, like, it wasn't a thing where I had to, like, run back to the other side of the room. Yeah. In order to, um, you know, get it. It was just, like, a quick right down to left. Yeah, it was cool. So, it kind of just worked out after we dusted the whole thing because that's... It's still dusty. Oh, yeah. It's still yeah. dusty from then, probably. Yeah. So, uh, we'll just but, take a quick break real quick. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, we're back here uh, again. Um, so I guess uh, we'll almost uh, wrap it up uh, soon, in a sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so you've also come to, you've also seen some improv shows of mine online, and then you came to one in person. Yeah. How do you how do you like like improv? Improv is interesting. Um, it's very uh, it's funny. I like it. Um, I couldn't really see myself doing it because I just have a very I have stage fright and i have very big uh, stage fright yeah and i just i just knew i wouldn't be able to sit in front of a bunch of people and do stuff like that uh -huh. um unless like i can like sometimes i can get warmed and comfortable with a crowd mm -hmm. but i just know i couldn't like kind of perform like almost every like night or like how often you guys do perform pretty yeah. much so it's just one of those things like i can like talk into small in front of small groups but mm -hmm. it's really hard to kind of sit there in front of like a group like a like a size like a large group like that probably yeah and kind of you know so it's pretty uh i just have that big stage fright yeah 
I mean, I think you'd be great, like, if eventually if you did want to tackle it and, yeah. say, take an online class. You know, I know you're busy, uh, yeah. but maybe eventually one day. Because they do a lot of online classes now. Yeah, I, I online teach. classes, I probably could. Yeah. But the only problem is that I have a phone only. Oh, yeah, you would need, I'd like, need, like, a computer or something. Yeah. So. But maybe, maybe eventually. Yeah. Well, I wanted to bring up improv because, you know, I mean, I just wanted to go over some concepts real quick. You know, like, you know, improv is... Like, yes and, I yeah. don't know if you heard about that, where it's like, you know, you yes to the other person, or you describe stuff, like, uh, we cut to this, or we see this, or we play different characters. Yeah. Um, how familiar would you say you are with improv? Uh, I mean, I don't, well, compared, like, to the, like, what I do sometimes when I do the, in the videos, like, that type of improv, mm -hmm. I kind of, I don't know if it would be as, I would call it similar to what you guys do in improv. Yeah. But I think, like, when it comes to, like, thinking off the top of my head about something, I think I'm pretty quick to that type of stuff. Yeah. Because I know you guys can't kind of sit there and kind of, like, think about what you have to say. Yeah. Pretty much. It's more you, like... You can sit there, well, yeah. but yeah, I know what you mean. You yeah. can't, like, be there for, like, an half an hour trying to think yeah, yeah. about, like, uh, just, hi. Yeah, just like... Yeah. You wait, or somebody, somebody says, so how are you? Uh, Two hours later, we yeah. only got 15 minutes left, dude. Yeah. You got to <laughs> respond at least in a minute or so. Yeah. I've done, I've done silent. I've I, There were some improv scenes where i played silent yeah you know um i don't do it all the time but sometimes it's fun yeah. um well i brought i brought up improv because so i did a, a store uh improv event online i think i told you a little bit about this yeah um where it's like continue the story yeah and then i also use a uh, video clip at the end yeah and so i used a uh, video clip of you uh from mikey the rat the movie it's like um and we did a improvise like continue like what if we did a sequel to that yeah um and it was really fun i ended up playing you in the streck outfit and i'm nice. like it's like listen this uh, <laughs> this streck outfit is up to here like you yeah. know like uh so i bring that up because i don't know i think it'd be fun if we did an improvised sequel oh god like 15 <laughs> to 20 minutes okay you know what i mean and like you'd be able to play multiple characters or you, if you just want to play your own character. Yeah. Um, because what do I have here? Oh, God. My... You guys don't see what he has, but it's something really it's large. Something... <laughs> Wait. There it is. Oh, God. It's the... It's yellow. Can you describe it? <laughs> it's Mikey the Rat. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, hold on. We're going to pause real quick. Yeah, so say it again. Mikey the Brooklyn Rat. Yeah. This is the original, original one. It is. The original. It was white a long time ago. It was, yeah. Now it's, it's a, a plush one. Yeah. At, you know, there's two versions. Yeah. You know? We have the uh, white plush and then we have the white. We had, well, the, the yellow rubber. <laughs> yellow. Well, yeah. Uh, funny thing is Mikey the Rat first appeared and Mikey the Rat makes a prank call in 2008. Yeah. Uh, then in Mikey the Rat the movie. Um, I forget what else he appeared in after. Oh, he, I think he like died. And that was kind of oh, like it for him. Two for the road. Well, it was a dream. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like a dream. I guess it was. So uh, we never came back to that Mikey the Rat. No, you know, that was. And then we got the, the plush one. Yeah, yeah. Because he didn't turn yellow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think so. he turned yellow within like the, the those years. That's why. Oh yeah, I've had this for. Yeah. The, the tail is. Yeah. Well, the, the reason why, was ripped. Yeah, the tail is like falling off. <laughs> um, well, so recently, yeah. So I had the idea of like, what if. You know, because cause I was inspired by the improv set, and I really wanted to switch it up on this uh, podcast besides just chatting. Yeah. Like, what if we did an improvised sequel, you okay. know? And it could be, like, it could have beginning, middle, end. It could be maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. Maybe we could fill it out. Yeah, um, yeah. See how but, long we can go. Like, so, so sort of like how you've seen the improv where you want to play a different character, you can. Yeah. But I could also describe stuff. You can be like, uh, we open up on a house, you know? Okay. Um, so I don't really have a suggestion but what if, like, it was a Mi improvised Mikey the Rat film sequel, like, like a sequel to the movie? Yeah. Which is how the, long? How long? Twelve years? Thirteen years? Two thousand eight? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Would it be twelve years? I think. Uh yeah, twelve. So what if we? Would you want to do that right That's, now? That sounds interesting. Right. I'm down. So you ready? Yeah. So. So just oh, you have any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? um just watch out for that noise yeah yeah um so yeah <laughs> <laughs> well come on i'm yeah. an improv teacher damn it ask me 
Ask me a question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> the question I have to question it, you with questions. It it just be well, It's like so like you're gonna start off and then I'm gonna kinda just like kinda roll in. Think yeah, think of it as uh this improvise. Okay. Like how you see the improv sets or one of those silly videos. Yeah. I mean uh, you know, and then like you can play multiple characters, you okay. just have to be sure to keep track so of them. So this this is based off of the video when I was little, like in the yeah. Shrek co- costume. So, so what if it's like a, a a sequel? Okay. You know, because we don't know why the hell these these toys are. Yeah, just randomly attacking. A- attacking. Even in the video, in the in the video sequel we did, yeah. it was like we wanted your soul. Yeah. Like so, the toys were like, all right, cut to ten years later with the souls, yeah. the toys, and uh, we were like, oh, we want that kid's soul. Yeah. Uh it doesn't need to be this. This could be. Use use your you know whatever you think is funny. Okay. Uh, but I also scene paint as well. Okay. So like we you know maybe like we start to, you can use cut to, as okay. well. So this is like improv a little bit, but you could okay. be like, um, we cut to the next day if you feel like we've done it. Or I could say it as well. Yeah. You know, whoever whoever says it first, like we cut to the next day. Yeah. Uh, Mikey the Rat and and I could do, the voice I guess. Yeah. You don't have to you you know I I could be Mikey. Yeah. And I'll play other characters, but if you want to play Mikey as well, or we'll see. Yeah. Maybe you just play yourself. It's up to yeah. you. Whatever you're more comfortable with. It's gonna be really oh, hard to pull off. A five year old. Uh, no, best. well, this is twenty years. Oh, twenty years later. Let's just say it's, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's at least twelve years later. That's our okay. like. So Mikey the Rat is our suggestion, and yeah. twelve years later. Um, so yeah, let's and let's go. Here we go. Um, we see a house, uh, in a forest. Uh, a big nice white brick house um <laughs> we then zoom in to the house and <laughs> we see an older man it's uh andrew and he's just chilling hey, <laughs> what the fuck is that in the woods <laughs> <laughs> you see another kid uh, come in what the hell? andrew and grandpa grandpa oh hey 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 little boy hey what are you doing uh, Grandpa, can you... We're in the bathroom. What are you doing in here? <laughs> I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Grandpa, I'm outside. When you come out... Oh. So, Andrew eventually comes out from his his dump, I guess. Oh, shit. Grandpa, Grandpa, can you tell me about the time that you and Mikey the Rat went on a, a second adventure? Oh, my God. That was two weeks ago, I think. <laughs> Grandpa, tell me about the time, the years ago one, not the two oh, weeks oh, one. Oh. Jesus Christ. When you were, like, normal... Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, that was good. I was 42. Jesus. Hey, minus all right. 20. Tell us about the time you were 19. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. All right. We cut back to when Andrew is, <laughs> is 19 uh, with Mikey the Rat. And uh, what's the location these uh, two are in? Brooklyn, New York at a pizza joint. All right. Yeah. We So we cut to... Uh, big ass rat. Yeah, we cut the Mikey on the table with yeah. Andrew. Yeah. Hey, uh, Andrew, what are we getting? Get a fucking cheese pizza, maybe, Mikey. <laughs> I don't know if I want a cheese pizza. You know, I think I want uh, something with pepperoni. Yeah, on goddamn it. right. You think they're gonna give you a goddamn pizza that's not cheese? I think I'll, I want something with a pepperoni. You know, uh, Mikey. We, the we bro- get a pepper. Waiter, come over here. Come over Wait, here. Yes, I me the waiter. What can uh, I get you? Yeah, me and my uh, rat friend. Is that a rat? Excuse me. <laughs> Are hey, you yeah. uh, being racist? <laughs> <laughs> I this just I've never seen a rat. Oh yeah, really? <laughs> hey, shake your boy. <laughs> why you s- shake your boy? <laughs> why you why you sweating, you waiter? Yeah, so good. I pull out a gun out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, <laughs> please, I'll get whatever you want. Alright, good. Because it's a water gun and I score it out, I'll tell you that. Ah, I'm wet. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, get it. Yeah. Get us a pepperoni and a cheese. Okay. The waiter walks away. Wow. <laughs> you really know. It. You have a way with words in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm from the project, so That's you know. Awesome. Well, I know. I know. We we talked. <laughs> yeah. We talked about this yeah, years ago. You pretty you much know? lived in my house because it's like a sewer anyway. Well, yeah. It was it was a anyway? Enough with the look. I called you here today because ever since what happened years ago, people are trying to get me. First, it was the toys. Then it was those kids. Then it was all a dream, apparently. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, me neither, bro. I'm just trying to have pizza pizza. I want to have pizza, but I feel like everybody's got it out for me. I'm a talking rat. I was an actor, you know? Yeah. 
Like, what do you think? Uh, well, I mean, I... That sounds like a problem you got there on your shoulders, or whatever your little feetsies are called. <laughs> the feet, they're called feet. I got shoulders, too. They're little shoulders. What's wrong? You got some nice ears, though, I'll tell you that, Mikey. I know I got some yeah. nice ears. Well, the problem is is that I think you're just too worried about society. I think you should just go back to your damn sewer. I'm not going back to the damn sewer, because that's... Why can't you get a condo in the sewers? I don't want to... Hey, look, it's... Mikey, you can't even reach the goddamn stove in the morning. I know, but you know what it is? You know what it is? It's like, ever since the pink dog incident, people are more accepting, and the chicken little, people are more accepting of animals in society today with talking animals. You see, the problem is that's a cute pink dog. <laughs> that was not, okay, <laughs> let's get it straight. <laughs> that was not a cute, that was an alien invader. You're right. Who killed at least three people, four people. You're right. Including but, a kid. <laughs> the problem is, right, is that, would, what would your daughter? Your, what would, say if you had a daughter, who would your daughter rather have a talking rat or a talking dog? She'd still be my daughter, though. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but I'm just saying. It's, it doesn't <laughs> look. All right, fine. I get it. You know, it's hard to kind of live in this world as a rat. It's harder to live as a damn chicken little. Well, yeah, but the the thing is that there's still like probably five people out there that still found them cute. I don't. All these. All these. All right, look. All right, let's. Lord Xavier was pretty much a mass murderer. Chicken Little was also a murderer. I haven't murdered anybody. I'm a good rat. I just want to act and eat pizza. Yeah, I got you. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm gonna... here with your pizza. Clear the fuck down and get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a waiter. Yeah, what a guy. What I'm a... not going to give no tip. Yeah, I'm not. Well, we're in a pizza place. We don't tip. <laughs> you <laughs> you know? mean, you'd be surprised. <laughs> All I'm saying is, like, okay, I get I want to be accepted. But is it ever really explained why these toys want to attack me? Or why this gang want... No, the gang wanted to attack me because of the film. Yeah. But I'm not... I don't... All of a sudden, we... Uh, the the door opens up in the pizza place, and you hear the little bell. Um, and we see we see Boots. Ch, 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 ch. Yo, what's good? He turned, he's talking to the, the pizza chef. Uh, what can I get to you? I want... I want cheese pizza with uh, some pineapple and ham on it. We also see on this uh, hooded figure with a trench coat and boots, there are toys spreading out of his pocket. You get them, boys. <laughs> ah, okay, I'll get you the pizza. We Thank cut you, back sir. to Mikey and Andrew talking. Hey, that that dude seems a little <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> it looks like Biggie Smalls. <laughs> Wait, is that Biggie Smalls? No, wait a minute. Wait, hold up. Is those toys coming out of his pocket? What the? Fucking weirdo. We cut to the the toys coming out. Hey, troopers. You see Mikey right over there? Get him. Wait a second. Hold on. Why do we want him? Because Biggie Smalls said so. What the hell do you want me to tell you? That's his nickname. His real name is Ron Jones. Jones wanted him. We're going to get him. But why? Just I want to know why, Captain. Real quick. Did he do something to us? I'm pretty sure that kid over there, the one that's eating the pizza with the rat, he slapped the shit out of my brother. He made him cry <laughs> when? in front of millions of people. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, you remember the first four that I went remember. there? Wait, but then why? Okay, look, I'm sorry. I know I know it's impolite to ask, <laughs> Captain. Okay, okay. You, just keep, you just keep going. While I just, I would, I, I'll just keep Look, I just want to. Okay, wait. Did Mikey do something to our army beforehand for us to attack him? He had to have done something, Captain. I'm pretty sure it's because he's white. No. That can't. <laughs> no, we're going to. I mean. Captain, we, don't right. go down that road. <laughs> we went down that road a long time ago and four of my brothers did it. All right, Captain. No, <laughs> there's got to be a real reason. Wait a minute. Didn't Mikey sleep with the toy sister years ago? They went out? Maybe. I think they did. Look at this photo. He pulls out a little photo of Mikey and a and a, a woman clone trooper uh, kissing. Whoa. Whoa wait. wait a second. That's the whole reason why this has started? Why does Jones care? I don't know. Captain, you know what? I'm always going to follow orders, Captain. Let's get that bastard. We cut back to Mikey and Andrew. Anyway, yeah, so I was dating her for a while. Anyway, she broke up with me. But it was a bad breakup. But there have been no consequences since then. 
Ah, it's funny you say that, because I just got pizza on my pants. <laughs> wait, a, wait a second. All of a sudden, the toys start crawling up uh, on Andrew and Mikey. Andrew starts swatting them away. Right, get off me, you weirdos. <laughs> but then they start they start coming in with like knives and, yeah. and little blasters. Oh, what the hell's going on? Uh, I just got stabbed in my calves. <laughs> Get down, Andrew! Get down! How am I gonna get down? I'm gonna go down to that level. We put the <laughs> we, we Andrew and uh, uh, Mikey pushed the table, and now all of a sudden there's like a a gunfight. The police, the police, uh, not the police. The pizza chef pulls out a gun. John Jones pulls out a gun. The toys have guns. They're firing. Uh, the waiter pulls out uh, a banana. A banana. <laughs> you know. Oh dear. Oh um, God. They start. So now it's like a shootout going on, and now Mikey and Andrew. Are down as this is all going. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do, Mikey? What are we gonna do? I don't know, man. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Have. That's why. Oh my God! I kissed. I kissed one of the toys back in the day. Kiss a toy? I kissed. I kissed. Her name was Lagina Rex. Like an immutable object? Like a? No, like one of these moving toys. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's why they attacked me years ago. Remember? Oh. She at least pretty? Like they all look the same. I heard. No, she was really. She was a looker. But I left her high and dry. Because I wanted, I didn't want a relationship. I just wanted a friend. Yeah. And then you became my friend. Yeah. Well, uh. How the hell did we get out of it? <laughs> the waiter uh, gets shot, and then the bloody oh waiter. My banana. The bloody waiter body <laughs> falls down out oh, next snap. to the, Things oh, are really getting heavy here, oh Mikey. Oh, God. We got to get out of here. Uh, uh, here, I got a blowtorch. Let's go right through the wall. All right. So then they use the. They use the blowtorch to get out. Yeah, I um, made a size just for you. It's like yeah, a little square. Yeah, a little. <laughs> so then they go out, and then we we cut back uh, to John Jones and the toys. They finally get behind the the table, yeah. and they see the big hole. John Jones, uh, little toy here. Um, <laughs> they, it looks like they've escaped. Really? What do we do? Get in my pocket. We're gonna go chase them. Yeah. As as they leave. Uh, we see the police. I mean, the, we see the the pizza chef is dead. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's blood everywhere. And uh, the or John whatever. Jones says something before they, they when they walk out. A la vista, baby. And one of the toys says, "Keep the change, you filthy animals." <laughs> so then uh, we <laughs> we cut to the in the tunnel uh, now that Mikey and a- Andrew are now crawling in the tunnel. I can't believe it. This is so. You, <sighs> This is ridiculous. It is. It really smells down here. You live here? <sighs> I used to. I used to live here before I met you, you know? Thank God you left. Uh, I had to leave, you know? it's. Uh, they keep crawling through the tunnel. And they, as they, they crawl through, they continue to talk. Uh, you know, you're like my only friend, you know? I know. Like, literally, I'm the only person that accepts you as a talking rat. I know. You think society would be more accepting after all the other creatures and stuff like that you know yeah. but like right. i don't know uh, uh what are we gonna do to stop this john jones i don't know if we if we're in the right place that i think we are at uh nine o'clock there's supposed to be a new batch of waste if we can somehow lure him down here uh yeah maybe that could work <laughs> Sorry about that. Jesus I got some. Uh, I got a bone in my mouth. Yeah, the bone, the bone pizza that we bought. That was a bony pizza. Oh, All right, really? so here we are. So now we're in a big uh, sewer-like room with like a pump and like toxic waste. And yeah, uh, in it, in the uh, toxic waste, uh, we see a pink dime floating. Uh, we see sunglasses, Jim, uh, <laughs> decayed body. Uh, we see the Dragon Balls D scouter from the Prince versus Cena. This is a strange place. It seems right. like mystical objects <laughs> yeah. go down the drain here. Yeah. You know? I wonder where this leads. <laughs> I don't know. We got to. Hmm. Well, maybe we should. Hey, what's this? <laughs> Magic water. Ooh. Take a sip. See what happens. Uh, all right. So Mikey the rat unscrews it <laughs> uh, like a little Pixar rat. Uh, drinks it. <laughs> you get Mikey. Oh your God. shoulders are getting bigger. Mikey. <laughs> Mikey the rat starts to mutate. <laughs> oh god! To the size of Andrew and with muscles. Yeah. Whoa! Holy moly! Jesus! <gasps> you can finally reach the stove. Whoa! What was in that magic water? Magic water, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Duh. Wow! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I wonder who made that. I think it was Randolph the wizard. Yeah. You know. He shall not pass. Yeah, he oh, shall not pass. Wow! Wait a second. We'll be able to defeat those bastards once and for all. Yeah. Wait. 
Does that have an effect? Does that have any other effects besides your muscles? Because you know, <laughs> not everything you read is the truth. Did you read I didn't it? read it. I just drank it. <laughs> so like, it just said magic water. I, I didn't. Said, you don't. Yeah. Because your eyeballs are looking very uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking rat. What do you expect? <laughs> but the thing is, is like they're kind of like blowing up. <laughs> And then the eyeballs <laughs> go back to normal. All right, okay. maybe it was just temporary. Hopefully. You're not gonna kill me off. I'm alive in the future. God damn it! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm just saying, you bastard. <laughs> uh, then uh, we cut to uh, above ground now, uh, where the toys now are moving across the city with John Jones. <laughs> the ten hut. <clears throat> John Jones will now speak for the betterment of the Tory army. I am second in command, Colonel Ulysses S. Custard. Uh, I'll make, I'll stand for John Jones. As they stand up, it's like the scene in Star Wars Force Awakens um, with the First Order. Uh, so we see, we see all the toys now. Um, there's like a decayed poster of a pink dog action figure, because why not? Why not include another why reference? Not? Yeah. Um, what's another reference we can include? Uh. There's Chicken Little hanging from the uh, Again. top. Yeah, yeah. There's like, there's like just the same <clears throat> three characters. Yeah, have, have uh, are the only in this universe. Um, we see Randolph the Wise, the white, the white man, the white man in the suit in the corner. Oh, the man in white yeah. uh, is there, uh, and that's about it. Why not? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so now, so it's like that scene from Star Wars, and now uh, welcome John Jones. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> fireworks and john jones making a speech to the army ladies oh gentlemen and ladies because i know there's a couple down there in that crowd Woo. <laughs> we uh we're gathered here today because we are finally gonna capture mikey the rat and convict him of the crimes that he has committed against the toy army he made out with a female sick bastard <laughs> Does he know what society we live in? Where rats and toys don't combine? What is wrong with him? Yeah. I've, I s- Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've sniffed him out from the pizza place. <laughs> and we have his coordinates at 42 degrees Celsius <laughs> in the sewers. We believe that he is with the known associate of Andrew. His longtime friend, what moron he is. I don't know who the hell would be friends with a rat, but they must have they must go back way, way back. We know they go way back. <laughs> I know this. Somebody pulls out <laughs> John Jones pulls out a gun and, and shoots the soldier. Yeah. <laughs> Any more questions? Comments cons- good. Get your men ready. Load up. Oh, bring it back here. Yep. There you go. Load up? Yep. Cool. Upload. Yeah. Okay. We cut to a conversation amongst Two soldiers. <laughs> you didn't need to. You didn't need to kill Carl. <laughs> well, Coral was, you know, Coral was talking too much. All he wanted to know was an explanation. You're right, but it's John Jones. What are you gonna? He killed his own wife. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> well, obviously. I, I think it would. You know, in my opinion, <laughs> um, to prevent this whole matter from spilling over years ago. He could have just sent this entire army <laughs> yeah. as opposed to a, a small unit. <laughs> four guys who didn't know He's what they were doing? Four, it, four. They, it was the special, the special victims unit pretty yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. They right. were like, they were brand spanking new. Yeah. That was uh, ridiculous. Pretty sure it was a five-year-old there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, now we cut uh, to the army marching in the streets. Dun, 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 dun. Left, 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 right, left. On your left. Left, 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 right, left. I've been told I told no more. I've been told da 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 da. Kill that rat is what we'll do. Kill that rat is what we'll do. Uh, spank him and send him to space. <laughs> spank him and send him to space. Shoot that rat and do it good. Shoot that rat and do it good. Laugh right. Left right. Right left. <laughs> left right. Left right. Right left. Left right. Left right. Lefty righty left. We see that people in the New York streets are, are looking down. Mildly confused. At the, at, confused as 
to uh, and then we we cut to a, a couple um god <sighs> ah this is this is sad this is where my tax money went to like <sighs> what I don't think we funded these guys. <laughs> I'm pretty clearly sure a, we did. That's clearly a toy army, has, hub, hey, hubby. Really? <laughs> I really need glasses. I that was <laughs> that's police a, officer. It's a, <laughs> a goddamn toy army. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Jeez. Move um, it up here. There you go. It's a goddamn toy army, honey. Oh, my God. I, uh, I couldn't tell. You know. This is good pastrami. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we cut back to the army. Uh, Walking. They do another chant, because why yeah. not? It's... Uh, in the road. In the road. <laughs> I repeat what I I sing that. All right, listen. As a second in command, when I sing when I sing the song, I say it first, and then you repeat it, and then we repeat it again. All right. God damn it. Is that how that chance work in the army <laughs> in our toy? All right. All right. In the road. In the road. There's a little wet. There. Wait. Isn't he in the sewer sir? <laughs> <laughs> Just repeat what I got there. Oh, okay. There's a little rat. There's a little rat. He's got white hands. But it's he got right hands. He's a little rat. One, he, a two. Let's go. He's a, a little, little rat. rat. The rat. The rat. The rat. The rat. Let's get that rat. Get the rat. Get the rat. Rat. Get the dead rat. 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 He's rat. a little rat. 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 Rat, we're gonna Rat. kill him. Kill, Rat. kill him. We're he- gonna maim him. Maim him. Maim, maim him. him. We come <laughs> back to it? <laughs> John Jones in the front, uh, and they finally reach the location, the the sewer temple or whatever. Halt. Yes, sir. I smell him. Smell. Oh, he smells by the sewers, but I think I smell him. Second in command. What's what's our next move? Okay, we're gonna send about. Not four this time, but five. Oh, the special victims down there to go check it out. All right. How about there? That's the first wave. Then we send the whole army in if they fail. Maybe. No. Yes. They have a staring contest. (laughs) Uh, Does they realize who's really in charge? (laughs) We don't. (laughs) It's a mystery. But anyway, we cut to. Uh, inside, Mikey is now super strong. Like we left them because of the magic water. Um, and Andrew is is ready. Is doing like uh, it's like a they're like doing like a boxing yeah, montage. Like a montage of everyone working out. Yeah, and <laughs> uh, 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 Mikey the Brooklyn Rat. Oh, yeah. really ripped now. I feel good. Yeah. All right, what's it gonna be when they come in here? This is our last stand, so to speak. Um, let's try a disguise first. <laughs> <laughs> we should what? try. You see, there's there's sunglasses over there. I mean, these clones are pretty stupid. Okay, let's try it. So they put on the. Uh, Andrew puts on the sunglasses. No, Rem- you, no, I think, uh, Mike, I think you should. Put the Mikey sunglasses. puts on the. Mikey puts on the sunglasses, reminiscent <laughs> yeah. of. Bring it up here. Yeah, there we go. Mikey puts on the sunglasses, reminiscent of sunglasses, Jim. Yeah. Um, and then what does Andrew pick up? Uh, I put on a uh, Jenner's outfit. A classic janitor's outfit <laughs> yeah. from one of the one of the <laughs> one of the best episodes one of the, one I've of the films uh, of uh, from Pink Dog Seven, yeah. Return of the the, uh, the janitor. Ja- the janitor. <laughs> um, so they put it on. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work, but all right, I guess we gotta yeah. try it. The, so the, the five squad bust in. <laughs> it's uh five golden stormtroopers. Why not? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why not? <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. Um. Have you seen Mikey and Andrew? No, no, no. I uh, I clean these sewers. I clean these sewers. And me, I'm sunglasses him. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is sunglasses him? <laughs> you look really... Uh, yeah. Holy shit. All of a sudden, Mikey and Andrew just <laughs> whapped them into yeah, the, into the acid. Into <laughs> and one by one, yeah. they fought. <laughs> ah, help. Yeah. Ah. Help me! Yeah, I told you, Mikey, these were gonna work. Yeah. Wow, that was a great idea. Yeah. We cut back to outside. Uh, second in command, uh, John Jones. I mean, John Commander. They're dead. Oh. Um. Damn it. Uh, send, send. Uh, Wait. What? Wouldn't you like to give a riveting speech if you're gonna send these men in for one final battle? 
Sure. So John Jones, once again, <laughs> like a scene from Star Wars The Force Awakens. He pulls out a he podium g- out of his back he pocket. Gives, he gives a second speech in a matter of ten minutes. Men, I know our five best troopers died. It doesn't mean that you can't win the war. And the other four also years ago. Well, they weren't. He, he pulls out a gun and shoots them. <laughs> I'm tired of all these <laughs> insubordinated clones keep talking back to me like they know something. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Probably not, because I don't know who you guys are, but you just happen to be my army. Yeah. But you're going to go down there. You're going to get him. You're going to kill him. You're going to rip his guts out. And then you're going to put his guts back in him and then rip him out again and let him know who's boss. Someone say, yeah, please. The second c- command comes in. And we're going to all go in there. And then John Jones and him stare again. Who's really in charge? <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. Because they both might be here. They both, who knows? And I will be accompanying you in this journey. Well, de- depending if I get my fat ass through the sewer. <laughs> one. And the second in command speaks. And this will be the final battle. This will be either they die or we all die. Because we're finishing up this series once and for all. <laughs> No loose ends whatsoever. Yes, the second one doesn't make sense because it's, it's a, the second one. He's an actor, and then and then it was all a dream at the end, or was it? Who knows? We don't care. We're only concerned about the first time when the toys yeah. attacked. And then uh, somebody else speaks. Wait, I have a quick question. And John Jones points at him. Yes. So what was the point earlier, years ago? Remember when the toys attacked that other person? So. Donnie Bravo. <laughs> and then the the army guy comes in at the end and says the war's just begun. What was the point of that attack? What happened was is my little sister had toys, but they weren't men toys. They were female toys. And Ra- Mikey just Mikey was a player. I don't think Mikey was involved. All right, never mind. <laughs> and so now the the troops uh, all turn around and uh, the uh, Ron Jones says a line. I'll be back. <laughs> Second in command turns. Uh, just follow us <laughs> and, and ready your weapons. So now we have a million toy toy troopers are, are following uh, John Jones. Uh, and uh, John Jones Second in command. starts a uh, champ. Yeah. <clears throat> Left, left, <laughs> left. Yeah, the chant is left. cut off short because it's just uh, three seconds. They walk in, yeah. and they see Mikey and Andrew. John Jones, uh, second in command, says, "Company halt." They just <laughs> they walk two seconds. <laughs> yeah. they get, We're gonna go down that ladder, and they should be right there waiting for us. <laughs> Mikey and Andrew are just right in front of them, yeah. like two feet away. Holy shit! They're so <laughs> close. Hey, Mikey the Rat here. Jesus, he's so big. Uh, boys, uh... Attack! So now, uh, in the epic battle... Andrew, uh, what weapons do you have? Hmm. What if you, what if you found, you found Randolph's wizard hat? Yeah. And and put that on your head. And that's all. And you have, and you do magic powers, what do you think? That's fine. Alright, cool. So, now, Mikey, super strength. Yeah, Mikey the Rat, and then Andrew with a magic hat that he just found from <laughs> a dead sword. Randolph <laughs> wizard, because he's dead in this universe, I yeah. guess. Um, he's probably killed by the gorilla in yeah, the, after Gorilla likely. Two, that the film we never made, Gorilla <laughs> Three. Um, so now we have an exciting uh, battle, uh, and we'll we'll cut in between. First, Mikey the Rat, eat this as he's drawing <laughs> punches to toys, and he's he's drawing the toys, and it's sort of like. Uh, He's hit. He he punches like fifty toys in the air, and they all fall and, and are destroyed. And you could play some of the toy characters as I'm okay. destroying them. Eat this! Ah! Get Eat back this. on the left flank! Oh, the right flank needs assistance! Fire your bullets at me! I dare you to! Don't fire the bullets! We're not gonna play into this cliche. A few of them start firing, and then the <laughs> what bullets, is your problem? The, the bullets start <laughs> bouncing off and, and killing the toys. <laughs> Eat. Retreat, retreat. We'll pull back at least for now. <laughs> Mikey Durrett sticks out his tongue, like, and then and then is able to grab a bunch. Yeah. And then, oh my god! Ah! And he eats the toys, and they digest slowly and die. We cut to Andrew now, who has magic powers all of a sudden. Ooh. 
Wizard Agula. He t- uh, Wizard Agula turns them into cheese. Uh, <laughs> ah, not the cheese. Quick, go around his ankles, man. I don't have ankles. He Andrew I'm jumps. Floating. Andrew floats, and then they shoot each other with the the harpoons. <laughs> ah. Uh, quick. Use the net. So they try to throw a net on Andrew. I'm invisible. He turns invisible, and now they draw a net Oonga on. Oonga. That's invisible. <laughs> they they draw a net on onto other toys who get who trapped, and they lose oxygen, and they can't breathe anymore. Jesus. Um, and then you draw draw a few more spells. Uh, uh, bring it back up here. Yeah. Uh, ooh ah, ooh ah. They turn in the toys turn into cavemen, and then destroy each other. What's nine plus ten? The toys had to start to explode. <laughs> there at we the, go. Yeah. At the, we cut now. We uh, cut back now. Bolt, Mikey, and Andrew are fighting off the toys together, like back Ooh, to wow. back, like an action movie. Eat this, and they're drawing like quotes and one liners. Yeah. Eat this, Bob. Then John Jones in the back. I'm here now. Now we uh, we we flat. Now we cut to all the toys have been defeated. The whole entire million toy <laughs> army. Has this Mikey and Andrew are standing tall, and now it's John Jones and second in command. I see you have defeated my toy army. I can't really say I'm impressed because they're toys, but I'm impressed. Ah, uh, speak. So Mikey, Mikey says, "So how's this gonna end? Are we gonna kill you, or is this over? Is this <laughs> is this finally ended?" Oh no, I have Wave Two coming as we speak. Also, uh, Wave Two comes in. What should Wave Two be? Uh, I think full size clones. Okay. Like, like they drink some magic water. We yeah. know that you have magic water on you, so I sent down a group after you killed the first group, and they got the magic water. We cloned the water, cause I'm, I'm a cloner from Camino. <gasps> John Jones takes off his his mask and reveals Camino. Whoa! Wait a minute. He's a Camino in. Kamini Nino. No, oh, no. no. no mo. He's speaking Kaminian. What a twist. <laughs> Andrew, what do we do? Propaganda plus plus plus. What? Uh, <laughs> sorry. I don't know. I think I can't. We can't fight this guy. Wait a second. What? Yes, we can. You, use one of your spells. Project me into them, and I will do a Sonic the Hedgehog-like fur explosion, sending needles... Into all of them. Jesus, how many needles you got? <laughs> I have enough to take him out, but you've okay. got to use that magic spell. Ready? So all of a sudden, John Jones is watching. Second in command is watching. The clone is watching. John Jones shouts real quick. You get him, Sonic. <laughs> but John Jones says something as the as the rat is coming closer. And Stop. Flows. Who goes there? Mikey doesn't stop, and then he freezes up in the air. Mikey, now with his super muscles and like hedgehog-like uh, <laughs> spikes on his back. Uh, <laughs> stuck in a really sticky situation. He right? says, "Yeah, he says, he says, eat this and die." The spikes fly to each clone. Each clone. Uh, ah! John Ooh. Jones gets hit right in the Ooh. heart. Ooh. And then Mikey falls slowly. Andrew standing there proud. Uh, Andrew and uh, Mikey walk over to the John Jones and the clones who are now dying because of spikes. <laughs> You defeated my men. You put a spike into my heart. Look, I'm sorry what happened years ago, but it didn't have to end like this. <laughs> You're right, it didn't. I'm going to be very honest with you. What happened a couple years ago? Me? What happened? Mm-hmm. I was in love. With? With her. Who? Sandra the Toy. <laughs> but it didn't work out because we were different. We were Romeo and Juliet. Mm. And I didn't mean for all this to happen. I understand. So now we see Mikey holding John Jones, dying John Jones in his arms as he dies. Look, I forgive you. I forgive you. John Jones. Put passed. me into the waste. <laughs> Send me off with my man. We don't need to do that. You no. can just <laughs> bury you in a regular grave. No, no. I deserve this. I want a Viking burial. You'll come back alive. We can't risk it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, but that's not the point. Just... John Jones slowly fades away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that for you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, John Jones mm-hmm. dies along oh, with the clones. 
What a memorable guy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Since you got your wizard power, can you bring back at least these innocent clones? I mean, that's that's the second in command. <laughs> that's the second in command talking. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, the audio fell. <laughs> Not the audio. Oh, uh, we're back. Hold on. Okay. I just got to Oops. Hello? Hello? All right, back. Uh, yeah, we're back. Um, so, then uh, John, um, the second in command <laughs> says, can you at least bring back some of the clones? I'll see what I can do. So he musters up energy balls mm. and then <laughs> spreads it around. The toys start coming up one by one. Not not John Jones, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, the toys start coming up and now the toys are good. Ugh. We're all better now, sir. We're ready. Wait. Are you siding with the enemy? No. Do we... I see treason? The, then the toys all look at each other, and then the second in command says, No. He stands up. We've got to unite. All right? It has to be us together. No more animal versus toy. No more pink dog versus toy. No more dog toy versus human. <laughs> what do you say we unite under one united front to protect this universe? I follow orders, sir. The toys all agree happily. Yay! Yay, we and, won! And then Mikey and Andrew uh, turn to the second in command. Hey, I think we want you to lead. Right, Andrew? Yes. Second in command smiles. Thanks. He turns to the troops. Let's go, boys. We got a universe to protect. Another clone says yeah. <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. <laughs> a different clone. Yeah. Um, they march, so they march out uh, slowly. Are we gonna just not talk about the dead guy here, John? No. Uh, no. He. Why is he just still wearing a janitor's outfit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the clones march out, uh, all happy. Uh, Mikey and Andrew are sitting there, and then all of a sudden, uh, Mikey starts to go back to normal. The the. Yeah. Effects start to wear out. I told you, Mikey. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, How are you going to woo the ladies now? You know what? Maybe I just wooed a one. So we cut to the the house of the other the, the lady toy who we talked to, Sandra. Uh, Mikey has flowers and a suit on, um, and he starts talking. Uh, he starts knocking. Yeah. Andrew, wish me luck. Okay. Good luck. Ting, ting, ting. The door opens. Uh, you can play Sandra. Hello, who is it? It's me, Mikey. <gasps> Mikey? It's been so long. I'd like to be with you. Would you marry me? Holy shit, that's pretty quick. <laughs> this is like, no, saw we? No. <laughs> would you marry me? Jesus. Please. This is very, yes, of course I would. Uh, then it, we cut to a wedding. Uh, where now they are have gotten married. Andrew's crying in the corner. Yeah, in a ball. Years <laughs> later, they they now have kids in a little cottage. Um, then we realize now that the house across the street from Andrew's house is the house of Mikey the Rat and his wife. And now we cut back to Andrew as an old man uh, talking to the kids, his his grandchildren. So like I said, never drink bleach. I mean. I meant, no, so yeah, me and Mikey lived our lives, and I married your mother, your mother had you. Bring it back up, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I know I use one of these damn <laughs> things, um, but yeah, little Jeffrey, the fuck out of my house already, go over I'm there. I'm your son. Oh. <laughs> I'm your grandson. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, then stay as long as you want. And then the, the final scene, I guess, is Mikey... The rat comes in, your wife comes in, uh, and Mikey's wife, and the kids, and, and, and the grandkids, and the other kids, they all come in and start playing together. And Mikey and Andrew. Sweet <laughs> Caroline. Uh, bah, bah, bah. As they share a slice of pizza together. To remember end. when we did this when I was 19? <laughs> I remember. Boy, that was years ago. You want to talk about the story? Oh, let's reminisce again. And we, we pull out of the house. To see them celebrating in a fun time. And we see the, the toys celebrating as well. Cause as the they protect my house. Yeah. And the end. Yay. Yay. What a sequel. That was very interesting. That was better. Yeah. We, that was very compelling. I think we, we figured out 
why the toys were attacking. Yeah. And it was cool to see a super sized rat. That yeah. was fun. That was fun. Yeah. You know? I'm I'm always thinking I'm gonna wrap this up soon. Um but I, I'm always thinking like how you know, 'cause so I'll say this right now. My plan is to move on to bigger projects, you know, like I've yeah. like I've I've loved all the you know, I'm still gonna do videos obviously. I'm still gonna do stuff with you, um, and other friends. Um but I think I've just realized like it's time to think bigger and I've always thought bigger, you know, as you know, yeah, yeah. like I've whatever it is calling out John Cena or what it is trying out for WWE or what it is like writing feature film scripts, which I've written a few. Um, but now I think it's really clicked to me during the quarantine and pandemic. It's like, I think it's like now or never, you know, with the, yeah. with these goals, you know? Um, and I'm like, I love all these short films. I love all these videos. Um, but I want to, I want to make bigger projects and that's yeah. the plan. And like, I would love to do a Mikey to rat the movie, you know, with like a silly, <laughs> Like, yeah. imagine that, a silly comedy with, like, yeah. just, like, we're back. Thanks for uh, bearing with us. Or maybe if we edit it, <laughs> when we edit it, people are going to be like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, because the audio device fell down uh, twice. So I'm just trying to move it where it doesn't fall no uh, more. Fall down uh, exactly anymore. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, so I guess, yeah, we'll talk about our, our future goals real quick. You know, like me, I want to, you know, continue to always push forward. And that's why I've written, like, multiple feature films now in their first draft uh you know a play i was working on another play but i got distracted um and then working on like i, I wrote like two tv show pilots i want to start writing short stories again um and, and then um i've also started finally submitting like short films i've done because i have like lost mask and the search yeah. and down of a santiago show um i have a lot of high quality short films mm -hmm. that people like but i just really haven't done anything with them because you know it, it's I don't know. I don't know the particular reason. I just think I like really doing them and enjoying them. Yeah. Um, but I do want to like start getting my name out there a little more, which I have been doing with the improv and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so that's what I would like to do. But so what about you? Like, do you, I know, I know, you know, we're still going to do videos, obviously. Yeah. I don't really have any particular ideas right now, except for like these, these audio things right now. Yeah. Um, but like, so what are you up to next? If you could talk about um, that. Um. So my like plan, my plans as of right now is to become a uh, armed security guard, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Uh. You know, I have, I have like um, I have a, I have some way to go, but it's oh. it's it's currently in progress, pretty much around like November, October, or October, November. I'm gonna be trying to uh, start getting classes and then start working. Nice. To become armed, I I always want to do construction, but with this. The Corona crisis and everything like that. A lot of jobs aren't hiring people at that mo at the moment because it's hard to uh, hire when that stuff this this stuff is going on. Mm -hmm. So that kind of really took me out of that uh, opportunity. It's still an idea and it still will always be there as an opportunity. But as at the moment, like security guarding is pretty much like something I've always wanted to do. Besides like being in the NFL and obviously a bunch of other things that you know, mm -hmm. more of like uh you know things that i've always wanted but sometimes those things are always you know hard to accomplish especially like the nfl because you got to be extremely like amazing at what you do when it comes to football and stuff like that so yeah. that was more like a dream more or less yeah that i just couldn't have uh come true because i just, i think i was never just really that invested when as i got older because i realized all the consequences and risks that come with it oh yeah, yeah you yeah. know like there is a lot of luxury like you know you get you make you know millions of dollars but like at what cost you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so I wouldn't want to risk my body and my life for millions of dollars if I can't enjoy it. Yeah. So. And what not about that security job? Not not that being a security guard is like any easier because that's still like you know there's still that possibility and that risk. So. Yeah, yeah. There's always a a risk with anything, you know. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, definitely. Because I've been in the same boat as well, where like I really loved something for a while, and yeah. then I kind of like kind of. Like, sometimes there's, like, a shelf limit, you know? Like, I always love filmmaking and YouTube, obviously. Yeah. But then, like, you know, like, I, w I was trying out for... I still like to be a WWE on-screen character, but I kind of let it go, you know? Because I couldn't commit the time, really, to a wrestling school. Because I'd rather do the improv performing and the sketch performing and the character yeah. performing. Um, but so, sometimes it's like, all right, I've done as much as I can with this. Uh, what's next, you know? Yeah. But there's always going to be stuff you you do regularly. Um 
But so I was gonna ask, uh, you know, I know like years ago, and this will probably be we'll probably wrap it up soon. Uh, years ago, I really I try to get you to make YouTube videos, and I know you probably I don't know if you were as interested. I uh, you know. Well, the thing is that I had I had a lot of I did like did a lot of YouTube videos and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. You still uploaded, I think, right? The, yeah, the, I still uploaded yeah. like all those, all those like videos I made on Call of Duty with my mother and stuff. Yeah, but I, I took, that. I took them down. Oh, okay. I didn't take them down. I just made them private for just me to be able to see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because of like, I think I did use foul language in them. If I was like, if I'm not mistaken, like I did oh, curse. Yeah. Or my mom might have said something like that might have been foul. I know how YouTube yeah. is nowadays, and I don't want to try to get like I'm not gonna get sued for like a bunch of money because I said the f bomb when I was like I 11. You, you I don't think they would because yeah. I'm not that big. I'm not a big time YouTuber. I curse. Yeah, but yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. I mean, but, yeah. Yeah, so it, but like I always want I, that was also another thing that I always wanted to do, but it was just like the equipment. Like, oh yeah, you know, yeah. It was yeah. so hard with the equipment and like I also had like an Android phone, so it was like either like, I I could have done YouTube videos like that. Yeah. But it was hard to film like on a Android phone like that, which wasn't really the best quality. It was like an I, I I'm not saying I don't think it was LG. It was a different type of brand. Yeah. And it was hard because, like, even when, like, I would try to film videos, it was super grainy and stuff. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the only problem. And I didn't – and, like, there was a lot of, like, um like video editors and stuff out there at that time. It was just the thing that it was, like, you know, not being able to – um, you know, having to pay for it and stuff like that. That was – there was a lot of things that I put in. I had to put into perspective before I did it. What I would do, what I do in the future, if I had like once I get a computer and stuff, most definitely because I think it'd be easier. Yeah, I've always wanted to do YouTube because it's like a job that you can do on your own time. It's not something you have to be like always consistent with. Yeah, but you could, you should because it's easier. It's easier to make more money that way. But you know, you don't. It's like your job. It's you're you're an entrepreneur at that point. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Like what. What type of videos would you do, you think? Uh, like more sketches or more video game or mix films? I think I'd probably do like a mix of everything, like sketches, yeah. a lot of skits most likely. Mm -hmm. um, definitely a lot of, um, what is it called? A lot of video gaming because at that point, I mean, I'd probably be playing a lot of the games that most people do play. Like I play a lot of 2K. I play a lot of, um, I don't really play Call of Duty a lot anymore because it's kind of just gone hill. Cold mm -hmm. War, the new game Cold War does look very interesting. Oh yeah, I gotta watch that trailer. Yeah, it's really it looks it's it's bringing back like how like Black Ops was the first Black Ops, so yeah. it's kind of like bringing that nostalgia back. I think that's what they're starting to realize. A lot of people don't care about this futuristic stuff. Yeah, as much because it's like people overuse their abilities too much online. It's really hard to get down with everything pretty yeah. much. So want, like, um, old school, I guess maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think I do. I do probably a mix of everything. Probably even vlogging too, because I know that's yeah. also really big with some YouTubers. Would I make like multiple channels and try to keep those up to date? I think that's pretty difficult. A lot of YouTubers do that, and like you know, you gotta get props when props are due, because that's pretty difficult. I assume. Yeah. Like having to transfer like some people have like a gaming channel, some people have like just like a vlog vlogging channel. Yeah. I think I would just keep it on one channel. Would just keep it organized really well. Yeah. So. That'd be cool. And yeah. I guess I was also gonna ask. Um, you know, like, and we're, we're coming to the conclusion. I always check the time, but this yeah. Is, um, so I remember when I created my sci-fi series in 2002, we tried to get you to create a sci-fi series. Like you had a yeah. little drawing book. Yeah. I remember um, that. but did you, were you not as interested because you only uh, did a few drawings? I think what happened was, is that I wasn't, I think when I was younger, the creativity that I, like the, the, my creative mind wasn't always there. Cause I always played like a lot of games and I always was like doing things outside. Yeah. So like, I never had that time and like on top of school and stuff like that. Cause when I came home from school, like I would have, I would have to do my homework and then I have to eat dinner, take a shower. And then at that point, like I'd go to sleep pretty much. Yeah. So like, there was like so many things that like kind of was there. Like on the weekends, I was normally out doing things like either shopping with my mom or like out with friends and stuff like that. Like there was like it wasn't that I wasn't interested. I just the, my creative my creativeness wasn't always there with me. Yeah. And it was really hard to think of things without like trying to like rip off someone else. Like ripping like when I first started, like I was just drawing battles of like from like the Clone Wars pretty much. Yeah. Like, Geonosis and stuff. I mean sometimes that's a good start. It's just that like for me, I just could never. I never took it any further because I just couldn't think of anything at that moment. Oh yeah. And sometimes yeah. it just takes where you just start writing. Like you know, usually people say like. 
instead of trying to think of something, just write things down and then just kind of make it into one thing, at, like one big idea. Yeah. And like I probably could have just, if I would have just stuck to it and just like drew a lot of random things and eventually it probably would have came into something bigger, you know? Yeah. Oh. Hey, we're uh, back here once again. Uh, so you're talking about your sci-fi series, right? And you said how it was too similar to Star Wars, right? Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, so... What are you going to say? Um, I mean, like, if I would have... I think if I would have had more time on my hands around that, mm-hmm. I think it probably... I probably would have, you know, been able to elevate it and probably turn it to something else. But I I just... I like, Between, like, like I said, school mm-hmm. and everything else that was going on at that time, around those times, it was pretty difficult to try to keep everything up. Especially when you're... Like, I was like... If I'm not mistaken, you guys gave me that book when I was, like... Yeah. Like, I think 10. Yeah. So at that point, like, I don't, I was never, you know, I don't think, not many kids kind of stayed inside and, like, you know, draw, drew a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, especially, like, when I, when I first moved up here, I was always outside doing things. Yeah. So I never really was inside, so. That makes sense. Yeah. Like, with all those, like, you know, but, like, I did draw in it a lot. I think I used, like, I don't know how, it was, like, a composition book. So how many, I won't say, like, maybe, like, 100 pages, maybe, like, even 150 yeah. pages had, like, some type of drawing in I it. I remember that, yeah. And if um, not, like, like little, like, short stories, too. Yeah, I remember that as well. Because um, I was going to say, you know, like, I mean, you know, if you ever do want to come back to it, you know, you have the the tools. Um, yeah. Because, like, my, my, like I said, my sci-fi series when I started it um, was a lot really like Star Wars, you know, very very similar to the prequels. Yeah. I mean, it was my own original drawings, just like you had original. But there were, there, like I said, there were clones and uh, similar ideas, you know. Yeah. And it, it did form into a tome series uh, eventually. But, I mean, if that's something you want to do, you can definitely... You know, like same with the video, you know, like it's a lot easier to do videos these days back in the, you know, even back when I started, it was like, you know, yeah. like it was a lot harder. It was like a, you have to have a like special, the mini DV camera, you know, and like computers weren't as they yeah. were today. Um, but now what's amazing about today is like, you know, and also like there's all, there was always like money was a factor, you know, now yeah. that I'm actually... Like working and making money, I can actually afford like, oh wow, good mic or a good camera. Yeah. Um, this audio equipment we're using for this, you know. Yeah. Which back in the day, I didn't have the, the money for that, you know. Like yeah. You're, um, like even on your phone now, you can do. It's like you can, almost damn near anything. Yeah, you got you could do a whole film. Um, so I guess like I said, um, you know, you want to do, you're gonna do security, you're gonna do the um. You know, possibly videos eventually. Yeah. But what else is next for uh, Andrew, would you um, say? If, is there de- anything else that I missed? Definitely, like, moving out at some point. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm turning 19 soon, so I want to say oh, at nice. least maybe, like, 22. Because yeah. they're not that, ex- like, apartments and stuff up here are not that expensive. Yeah. And probably try to, like, move out around that time and try to, like, start, you know, living my independent life. So. Yeah. And do you have any other ideas, you know, like I said, besides, like, the YouTube, besides possibly writing again yeah. the security like and i know you said nfl was a dream yeah but um like what other hobbies do you really like doing um i like going to the gym <laughs> when it was open yeah that was good i mean okay. i'll probably get back into a lot of those things like back into those things once everything starts clearing up mm-hmm. whenever that happens but i mean i don't have a lot of hobbies i usually play like a lot of games i usually i mean i do like i would like to get more into like reading maybe like reading books because i know yeah. like behind like a lot of games and movies is always like, the lore and books yeah, yeah and stuff so at some point i want to start reading more mm-hmm. for that reason so i'm able to you know get more of an understanding of like uh certain things like mm-hmm. star wars and stuff there's a lot more things behind the scenes and like in between episodes that you know not many people know yeah which i never knew and like now that with the luxury of youtube it's easier that way to like figure them out mm-hmm or at least find out and like ri- um, listen to, cause uh, like not even like I think three days ago, I was watching uh, like when Dark Vader first became Dark Vader, mm-hmm. like like the, the trials he went through and stuff like that to become like a Sith Lord, like you know turning his Caber crystal cri- crystal into like a blood red you know car- crimson or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Like by taking it from like it was like a bunch it's like a comic book like series and some guy transformed into like one whole like like two hour long like um audio book pretty much for everybody. Mm-hmm. And he did like impressions on like Emperor Palpatine, Lord Vader and a bunch of other characters that appeared throughout the whole like thing. The whole the whole comic series. It was cool. 
to like be able to actually know like how like you know it wasn't just like something where he was just given a lightsaber that so happened to be red Mm -hmm. it was something that he created himself you know yeah like he had to fight for it to get to it because i don't want to like spoil it for every who doesn't know Mm -hmm. but it's actually really i forgot i don't know who made it who the the youtuber was but whoever did he did a really good job on it so yeah i'm i was gonna say i like that stuff as well you know i love that there is you know easier access to content you know i mean there's always positives and negatives yeah um but i love it because you know i mean i do miss the old days when you had to like look for stuff and you finally found that that uh yeah that dvd or that movie or that video game you know um now it's all instant which actually i do like like i've actually do digital games now which i didn't normally used to do like buy a game on my ps4 or buy a game on my um but now i'm doing it a lot more because i'm game stops are closing and etc um but it is there is so much content. I look at the game store. I look at YouTube. I look at um, the books, you know, that I haven't yeah. read. I've been trying to I read a lot more over the past few years as well. Um, and it's like content overload, but in a good way. You yeah. know, that's why when I realize when when I tell people, yeah, I've uploaded like over a thousand videos, a mix of like short films and blogs and and reviews, and their eyes like wide, like are like, whoa, you know, like yeah, how'd you how'd you do that? I'm like, well consistency yeah um and plus i like making content yeah um i think that's about it right yeah no. do you have anything to say to the you want to people to follow you or, uh, or i mean it's okay it's okay if they yeah, I'm all not, right i'm not one of those type of person that's that cool guy, so um i mean if you guys like have xbox and you guys so happen to play like a video game like siege or like 2k or something like that and you want to add me um my gamer tag is ix issues but there's a space between the IX issues, space XI. We'll have to. Yeah. It's one of those usernames. <laughs> yeah. I know you always had the the craziest usernames. You yeah. Know, where it's like. A lot of them got me banned, but <laughs> yeah. it's okay. Like wag, Wagon Boy 299977. <laughs> My usernames are always basic. Warsman111 or Donovan yeah. TPS or the Prince yeah. DS. Um, but what's it called? No. Well, okay. So I could put that in. Um, well, you know what? It's been great uh, talking to you for however long this is however long i'll edit um yeah. love that we got down to the you know origins of videos and how you felt during videos your favorite yeah. videos talking about friends um doing the improvised mikey the rat sequel yeah. is really silly good. and fun yeah um yeah you know what i'm just gonna say uh thanks for listening everybody i appreciate it yes thanks yeah uh and have a great day and stay positive and remember um george lucas is in your room somewhere crying in a ball. I'm just, yeah, imagine. Uh, we love you, George. Uh, yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.